Alright, so today we're going to look at another way to automate the inscribers. And that way is going to be integrated tunnels. Well, kind of integrated tunnels, integrated dynamics, you know. I consider them the same even though tunnels is an add-on to dynamics. Anyway. So, let's see, let's get this, uh, let's get some inscribers laid out here. Let's get our five inscribers. And let's get our plates put in. So, logic, engineering, calculation, and silicon. And actually, we can use it for the power distribution too. Let's grab a. Let's grab the energy interface and energy exporter too. All right. So first thing I want to do. Oops, that's actually not what I wanted to do. This one. Lay some cabling down. So let's throw the energy interface under there. Go ahead and connect all these up. And let's throw the energy exporter onto all these. And just go ahead and throw a card in export energy. And it's getting powered. So most of these tunnels, if you just throw an empty card into the export all type aspect, it will just go ahead and export everything. So we want to get them powered, so that's good. And we're going to need a cable there. So let's just do... Yeah, whatever. So I'm going to want to put an item interface on there. An item exporter on there to shove the finished process product back into the system. Actually, these are going to need to be rotated so that I can access... And this one's going to have to be one over. So I can access uh, all three sides there, or all the sides. All right. So let's item exporter on the bottoms of these. samples. Alright, so the first thing I want to do is I want to throw silicon into the middle of this from this left side here. So I'm going to do logic programmer, I want item, I want redstone. So there's our redstone card. So we're going to throw that into export item. So now it will pull redstone from this chest and export it there. And then I want, this is the silicon one, right? All right, so let's do silicon. Into here. And then I want, oh, I forgot to grab gold. So let's grab gold.
and that's going to go into this first one. And then diamond. Goes into this next one, right? Yep. Then this one needs pure. Pure service. Now, for some of these, because some of these items, particularly this one here, we're going to have to tell it to... Okay, so it already checks damage and NBT. So we're good on that. So it won't uh, accidentally pick up the pressed circuits. So these importers, we want to just import everything. And then the output of this one, we want to import everything. So now let's go ahead and throw one of each of these in here, actually. See if they all go to the right places. And they do. Let's go ahead and throw some accelerators in. So now we need to have it send the intermediate presses into the top and bottom here. So let's grab these. And I want item silicon press to go into the bottom. So now if I throw it in here, it's going to disappear and reappear right there. Now this top one I want to be able to have any of these three. The problem is, if I just tell it to ignore damage, it might get the printed silicon on the top as well. So instead what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell it a list. I want a list of items. So item number one, or item zero, item one, and item two. So now we have a list of items. And so now we can throw it in this export items spot here that expects a list. So now it will export any of those. So I'm just going to go ahead and void the rest of these here. And there's our finished circuit. Actually, let me see here. That's 65. Okay, so I'm going to have to do a list for the uh, other export as well. So I'm just going to uh, cheat these in real quick just to get the... Just to make the list out of. So let's make another list. So zero. One. And two. So here's our list of finished processors, and we're going to stick that into the export items into the AME system. So now we should be ready to give this a whirl. So I'm going to ask for 18 logic processors, and it's just going to go at it. And it's not exporting. Now, why isn't that ex importing there? I did run into a slight glitch. For some reason, this one would not import the items when I used import all like all the rest of them do. But I just told it specifically to import the printed logic circuit, and it worked just fine. So I'm not sure if it's some kind of glitch or what. So your mileage may vary on the import all part. But it's not too hard to just make a card for specifically what it's supposed to import, and then it works perfectly. So, let's ask for some more. Let's ask for engineering processors. Let's 
all working perfectly. So there's what's in our chest there. And then our crafting monitor. And looks like it's all done. So there you go guys, there's a fairly simple way of setting up the inscriber automation with integrated dynamics and integrated tunnels. So I will do another one next time. So see you guys later.